Hello folks, Dave Shokey here with the Twin Home Experts. Just wanted to go ahead and take a moment and kind of give you the best exterior caulking that we like using here at the Twin Home Experts. Uh, we're out actually in a patio area where uh, a tile was just installed in the deck. The problem is, is that the tile stopped about halfway here, leaving uh, a little less than a half inch gap. Now, what that uh, will do is, as water comes up, it may get below the tile and start uh, causing some moisture issues with lifting this tile up. So what we like using here is the Type Bomb Ultimate MP Sealant. This is great because it's very flexible, it adheres to most construction materials, and it lasts a long, long time. So you might wanna consider using this material for your exterior windows, doors, uh, those types of vulnerable places where water can come in, this is a great option. Let's go ahead and uh, show you the process and the steps that we like taking to uh, apply this. One thing I'd like to mention before we get started here is we're just going to fill in the bottom, almost level with the tile, again, less than a half of an inch. Um, when you're trying to fill in a gap that's much larger, you want to use some um, the uh, backer rod, which is that foam uh, rod that, that you can fill in. And the reason why that is for sure important to use is because Oh, oftentimes what causes cracking is when the uh, caulking or the sealant is adhering to three sides. So in this particular situation, the bottom, the top, and the back, that U shape, you don't want your caulking to adhere to the back end. So that's why that backer rod is very important. That actually stops the cracking. You only wanna have the caulking sealing from two sides. So in this particular situation, we're only gonna focus on the bottom. The reason why is we don't want that water undermining this tile here. So <clears throat> we went ahead and cut this um, straight. What we're gonna do is, we're just gonna go in and add a layer. All right, folks, so now that we've applied the caulking, uh, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make is they'll you know, lick their finger or take their finger and actually squeeze that caulking. That's a big no-no. You don't want the natural oils of the, of the skin going into that. It actually breaks it down. So what you wanna do is just, uh, you know, a couple of these guys here, if you're hitting a tight corner, you can actually just make sure you cut this at the perfect angle or cut it straight and apply that caulking evenly. Uh, but in this particular situation, we need to get our uh, something in there to actually smooth that out. So we're gonna use um, a, uh, a spatula like this to go in and smooth out. We're also gonna put the silicone at just a slight angle so that way water is not gonna be settling in this area, it's actually going to uh, uh, remove the water from the structure of the, the silicone as well as the, uh, uh, the structure of the building. So uh, let's go ahead now and uh, go in and uh, let's smooth that out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and squish it down a bit. And this may take another, another bead here, but as you can see, we're filling in all of those gaps by smashing the silicone in. All right, so here's the finished product. All right, folks, well, hopefully this helped give you some exterior best caulking practices when it comes to your uh, structure. And as always, 
Thanks for watching.